How you going, Leo? I have your um, daily reading for today. I usually go for about five to 15 minutes. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Um, if it resonates, can you give me a like or subscribe or um, leave me a comment? Um, and um, I use multiple decks so we can put emphasis um, on the reading. So here we go. Let's go. Justice. Could, could be meaning balance, okay, but natural law. Justice maybe around family in some sort of way. Justice in itself is a, um, it's a beautiful card to start with, okay? Depending on what side of the justice you're on. Uh, sorry to laugh. But it's um, balance um, in itself, um, karma, uh, wisdom, fairness, cause and effect. It's like what goes around comes around, yeah? Like couple that with the fate wheel and, and you've got karma and its, and, and its receipt. Um, it's accountability and perspective, yeah, because look, you could have been dealing, like, we'll keep going a little bit further, yeah, but it's maybe it ended in some sort of way, but we'll have a look, maybe two-faced, or maybe there's two faces of that karma, okay, um, spirit ended it, we can see the, um, the uh, death and rebirth under the um, deck there, so we, yeah, so you could embrace your own enthusiasm, maybe you were dealing with a, a person that um, didn't, juggled you in theory or told you that you weren't good enough which created that baggage you know to hold you down so you couldn't jump for joy with that light lifting you up see she's jumping up with that inspiration see the inspiration is there in itself leo but um yeah like the baggage will always hold you down like that's the work of the devil you know and we don't want that because that's consequences and injustice and then obviously people not taking your experiences in life and, and and listening to what you've got to say because you've got, got things to say that's for sure because she's she's an um, inspiration in some sort of way you're healing from that though yeah you're definitely healing in some sort of way okay look see the heart keeping it close to your way you heal in that nest of the phoenix rising from its ashes and that gives a transformation and the strength okay you probably had to make a lot of sacrifices you probably were a sacrifice along the way um, and that's the justice in itself. Or maybe, you know, like, you've got to understand this, that's pure. Yeah, that's pure. That's why they're usually sacrifices in the, in the, as if, but like in the, in the old Bibles and things like that, where they sacrifice for that pure animal. I don't think God would like that, uh, killing his animals. But any, either way, each their own. Um, you can see that the lion eats the sacrifice. So it shows what goes around, comes around, but it's also harmony in itself and balance within that harmony. Um, Leo, we go on to the next. Yeah, the heart balances you going into a, a, a beautiful, joyful life. Um, and that's the justice in itself. Yeah, we just got to release and let go. But it also could be a matter of perspective. Okay, because see, and which part of that um, the justice here? You know, you could have been going through the horrible sh Look, deceptions, right? Look, I bet you that was your face on the outside, but that's what you were on the uh, underneath, yeah? Leo, or you could have been dealing with a disgusting, two-faced, deceptive, lying ugh, type of person, okay? It's funny that that's um, underneath the um, the reading there. So that's why Spirit's saying how, how strong you are, yeah? And to release, you know, come for your healing, take your time to heal, show the world how strong you are because that's the truth, okay? And release so that way you can embrace that enthusiastic en en energy, you know, because... The justice in itself is it's it's a good card depending on what side of the justice you're on. You know, we all gotta deal with our stuff in, in certain ways. But with that four of swords there, it's like it's it sucks that the unfortunate way that, that we feel true pleasure in life is through through um a vulnerability, you know, and, and that's the truth. Like, you know, we've got to be vulnerable in these situations, but but the moon is highlighting things we can't see. So it's like spirit come along and ended that situation, or whether you ended that situation or going through that situation now or about to go through that situation. It's like spirit sees all, yeah. That's why we're all naked in the eyes of God. And and when these situations of the deceptions come along, that squawk at you, it's like you've got to trust your intuition, you know, in order to release that and let it go. But you know, manifesting steers our lives to our greatest potential, you know, and that's the best way to say that. And you remember every champion was once a contender that refused to give up as well. Like, you know, and that's the best way to say that too. Yeah, in the middle of difficulty, give brings out the best opportunities for you to grow. Yeah, it's like you, the world's in front of you. You get the plan now. You can release and let go of all that baggage and all those things that held you down, yeah, and kept you awake, sadness and depression and... You know, and, and um, just horrible things, because that's that's horrible. That's that's depression and that's anxiety and sleepless nights. Look at all the horrible thoughts going around your head. You know, you probably feel horrible in that situation in order to be, yeah, look sad. It's just flicked itself because 
probably juggling you, yeah? The baggage was holding you down, okay? And you had to let it go down the drain. So the baggage, yeah, let, let it go down the drain, okay? You tried very, very hard in that situation. You can see that, okay? There was love there, but Spirit had to pull it out. That's why the, there's a way out there in the background. My ears are ringing up big time on that. Um, yeah, but Spirit's trying to bring it into some sort of joy, yeah? Look, yeah, let's come back out again. So there was painful horribleness there. The Spirit's trying to pull you towards this joy, okay? Because there's some sort of wish and that growth there. It could bring you towards better times, you know? They probably rejected you and stuff like that, and that's not fair. And that's what Spirit done. Spirit, you only got 100 years in the life, and you're a, you're a being, a spiritual being walking the planet, in theory, like you're only having a human experience. Yeah, you grew in life. You grew in your minds, man. You grew. So see how pe poised and elegant. And if you haven't grown yet, well, obviously we're grown. But if you're not at the poised and elegant stage yet, it's like Spirit saying, release, heal, and, and watch watch the legacies, watch the miracles that Spirit will pull in. Yeah? Yeah. It brings you through these situations so you can grow in life and have boundaries and stand firm in your boundaries so they can't do it anymore. And that's the justice because they can't walk all over you ever again. Yeah, look how strong you are. She's, she's extremely strong, this one. She uses her intellect. She'll cut you with that sword, but that sword that she's going to cut you with is her brains and her intellect and, and, her, and, her, and her wisdom and her integrity. Talking to a beautiful soul. Yeah, like it's come out twice, okay? So you probably, that's the card of sacrifice as well, okay? So if you have a look here with the hangman here, okay? This is card of sacrifice, and this is the best way to say it. See, it's like sacrifice. You know, the hanged man. Yeah, not very good, Yeah. Um, in itself, but you can see the sacrifice there. You probably made a lot of sacrifices in that sort of relationship, which is why it's probably making it a little bit difficult to heal because you think to yourself, well, I was so beautiful. I was so beautiful. I was so beautiful. Like, why? Why does people come along and do this to me? Yeah? And why did my family do this? Because when we had the Justice card there, there was like the Ten of Swords was under that. So whether the Justice is you going and moving on with your life after you heal to get the family of your dreams, which that... You're walking in alignment with your higher self, so just remember that you're tightly bound to your to, to your higher self, yeah? and that balance and karma will always come around. It's not not right to um, sit there and wait for that justice to come around in that sort of instance. The best justice you can have is moving on with yourself and knowing how strong you are, which can give you the strength that you need. It's very strong, man. Look, that's hard work and determination. Family's come out again. Yeah, you're very strong. Okay, you're very, very, very strong. That's the best way to put it. That out of all the nights, this is hard work and diligence. So you put a lot of hard work and diligence in, and it took time to build that that family, that legacy up. Okay, and that's the truth. That's why Spirit's saying. That's why it's hard to release and let it go. Yeah, yeah. Because see, as above, so below. But you're a manifester. You can alchemize and do anything you want. You can use all of these benders to be able to bring your bring your like um, bring your alchemy your your manifestations into into fruition that's the best way to say it yeah watch out for the deception because that's what you're healing from at the moment you because the four of swords is above that healing with this with the strength there and releasing strength in releasing um and strength strength in perspective i suppose because it gives you the chance to plan your new life and plan of war yeah you made a wish you made a wish that's your hopes that's your connection to the divine Spirit tried to pull you out of this deception. There's probably a lot of trickery, a lot of deception, a lot of horrible, hollow, hollow victories, fighting where there was no winning at all. Like you, with a narcissist, you can't win with a narcissist. They have always right, and it's not. There's the narcissist looking back to see the spell work and watch you cry after they do that stuff to you. And that's what a narcissist does. They love it, and it gives them the victories in life and it moves them so they think that they can be the smart ass little brat. Yeah, and, and make you cry and, and stuff like that. It's not right, yeah? Spirit comes in and balances the energies out with that justice there and says, no, you're not gonna, I'm not going to do it to my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul, yeah? Leo, you've come through something, that's for sure, okay? You now See, we had the Queen of Swords before. She would cut you with her intellect, but she's the creative side of the feminine aspect. Now we've come along to this more dominant side. It's like Spirit says, pulling you in this right direction so you could be more strong, stronger in yourself because we did have the boundaries here and in itself and that's faith in itself, okay? See the faith? Because they broke your heart, yeah? Look, they broke your heart and they played on your mind. Same card, hollow victories, trickery, deception. Look at the blood spilled on the rocks in the background there. Yeah, trickery, deceptions and things like that. It's probably from a dominant, aggressive, narcissistic, divine masculine. So some, not even divine in itself, but an aggressive type of soul who doesn't even understand that you can't play with people. You can't play with beautiful spiritual beings like that. So that's why spirit brings in that finish line and that success and that completion. So that way you can have these beautiful, elegant, poised moments and be 
who exact, unapologetically who yourself, hold on to your values so when you step off in your new journey, you know who you are. Look, hold on tight to your new journey. Hold on tight to your value. That's value and, 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 and worth, you know, your worth and knowing who you are, Leo, in order to step forward. So it goes hand in hand, putting the boundaries in place because you know who you are now, yeah? Ah, perfect. We're going to switch the decks at 1025. We're going to switch the deck. That's, that's random as I've never ever done that before. So, yeah, but look, we turn it over and it gives you on a pursuit of your awakening. It's like divine awakening and this is the judgment card. So it gives self-realization. So you're on a pursuit for realization in yourself. Okay, we've got knowing the worth and the boundaries in place. Look what's underneath that card there. Look, you need to release. Okay, we need to release these memories. Okay, so whoa. We need to release the memories. So memories, releasing any burdens around memories, okay, of them teasing you, putting you down, hollow victories, uh, narcissistic tendencies, things like that. Release them because spirit's got something magnificent for you, man. Look, it's, it's you, unapologetically you as a bold leader who's skilled up in their life. And that's that's the learning, who you are. They probably left you out in the cold so you'd have to come along and heal. Look, left you out in the cold so you'd have to come along and heal, yeah? But look, look, the healing brings you towards your new beginning and in, and having that beautiful Empress energy, that pre-Empress energy so you can skill up in your life and level up, yeah? But like, yeah, like, see? That was, that's what was sitting there like that. So when I pulled it off to have a look, look, trickery, deception, same thing there, the Five of Swords. Um, and that's that hollow victory, like he's teasing them. Yeah, release that. That's releasing your burdens, okay? So that's release, and we've got more release, okay, around memories, nostalgia, okay? So you get to learn in life, okay? So you can see how you trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. Uh, have that new perspective and charge towards your excellence with determination. Spirit calls divine judgment, says not to my not to my soul. So that's Gabriel Bowen, Archangel Gabriel blowing his trumpet of judgment day, which is judgment day. So trust, trust in the divine, trust in your psychic abilities, trust in your dreams, because it leads you towards, okay, they broke your heart, okay? They broke your heart ridiculously, because when you cry, God cries with you, yeah? Because God, God's within you, yeah? And all around you. So yeah, God cries with you, so that's the tears as you've tried. God was there with you and that brings you to new hard working determination and showing how hard you are it's hard to release this stuff look it's hard to release hard to release okay and it's hard to release same card again hard to release this devil yeah but we have to go in it causes us to go in and that's how we release the devil is by putting in the hard work and putting that persistence of that broken heart so we can trust our intuition and then lead us to our, our judgment so we can go on our pursuit yeah, it literally says it here as well look Boom, go on your pursuit, see? Release, it's hard work, okay, in order to get to your connection with divine so the divine can lead you towards exactly who you are. Above that, it says it in exactly the same way. Heal with strength, and it's strong, strong. It's like it's so hard to release this stuff for you. I'm sorry, it really, really is. But just when you do, boom. That, that has to speak billions of words for people that have been horribly treated like that. Yeah, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. They can't handle it when they look at you later on in life and you've got those boundaries in life, Leo, and you know your worth. They can't handle it. Can't, it's like a big fuck you to them twice, twice over. They can't handle it. Yeah, especially when you do well. They can't handle it. Uh, okay, we're going straight under the justice and release and um, say release any, ju any worry about justice as well because that can also trap you in your mind as well. Um, that's clarity, man. That's clarity. That's victory. That's truth. There's truth to everything I'm saying. That's clarity for you. Uh, in itself, because that's the sort of truth, ace of, ace of swords, which is sort of truth. It's clarity shoots that download into you with wisdom. See, so release it the present moment, so you can have the beautiful things coming. Oh wow, like say, this is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who has personally achieved in themselves, has inner peace. Well, if you don't have inner peace soon, it's coming. It's got to release in some sort of way. If this is you now, look how beautiful she is. She's like radiantly jumping, like right there, jumping through all the flowers and then those showers, being showered with roses by the divine, divine hands. But it's hard work to release this stuff and, and that's the truth. It really, really is. Yeah, but understand your temperance ages are watching over you, keeping you safe. That's also a matter of patience and divine timing in order for the victory to come in. And it, like I said, it shocks them. It shocks them. It shocks them that with hope. It, that, well, it shocks them that they regret. They, they regret it. They reject it. They reject it. They can't sit there and look at the three spirit spilt, spilt milks and then they're like, oh, what's going on? But that's your joy now, yeah? Because it's completed and finished now, okay? So you don't have to be trapped in your mind. And it's been hard work. So trust your intuition at the present moment that there's a wish coming in itself, yeah? Ten of Legacy and 
divine judgment. It's time for your awakening, baby. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. Just know that there's something beautiful coming on the way. Look, that's making the wish upon the star. There's the star in that victory and victory and success there. And then that's what shocks them as we move forward in life. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Just remember your angels watch over and keep you safe.